For several days, residents of Blatten, a picturesque village nestled in the Swiss Alps, had been cautioned by geologists about the growing instability of a glacier perched high above. By Wednesday afternoon, shortly after the village was evacuated, the glacier gave way under the immense pressure of overlying rocks. In a catastrophic collapse, approximately three million cubic meters of ice, rock, and mud cascaded downhill, engulfing the village. Authorities reported that around 90% of Blatin was buried by the debris. A single resident, a 64-year-old man, is currently unaccounted for but officials have not confirmed any fatalities. The massive flow of rubble stretched more than a mile, damming the river that runs through Blatin and inundating what few buildings remained standing. We have lost our home, said Blatin Mayor Matthias Bellwald in a somber press conference Wednesday evening. Describing the devastation as overwhelming, he called for national assistance in rebuilding efforts. Stefan Ganser, a valet provincial councillor, told local media that the scale of destruction left the village barely recognizable. Investigators believe melting snow at high altitudes may have contributed to the disaster, though the exact cause remains uncertain. Rescue crews deployed thermal imaging drones and expert personnel in the search for the missing man. The debris flow not only obliterated much of the village, but also created a secondary hazard. On Thursday, regional authorities issued an alert. The landslide had blocked the Lonza River, forming a lake that began to flood the remaining structures in Blatten. As a precaution, engineers increased the holding capacity of a downstream dam, and nearby communities were evacuated in case of potential overflow. Milène Jacquemart, a glaciologist from the Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich, explained that the glacier had been slowly crushed under the cumulative weight of falling rock. Over the past two weeks, a rock face above the glacier began fracturing and collapsing onto it, she said during a phone interview. Imagine an enormous pile of rock pressing down on a relatively small glacier. She added that the precise chain of events is still unclear. It's possible the glacier buckled solely under the existing load, or perhaps further rock falls added extra pressure. We don't yet know for sure. The collapse was so powerful that it registered as a magnitude 3.1 seismic event, according to the Swiss Seismological Service, one of the most significant mass movements ever recorded in the country. Experts are divided on the role of climate change in the incident. Christophe Lambiel, a geologist at the University of Lausanne, noted that the glacier was once stabilized by permafrost in a towering rock wall, which has degraded over the past 10 to 15 years. He suggested that climate change likely contributed to the collapse. Jacques Mar offered a more cautious view, emphasizing that without long-term data, it's difficult to draw firm conclusions. Still, she acknowledged, there's no doubt the changes occurring in high mountain environments are reducing their overall stability. She added a broader perspective. Mountains evolve over thousands of years through natural cycles of buildup and breakdown. Sometimes large sections must give way, otherwise mountains would just keep growing. The Swiss government confirmed that all 300 residents had been safely evacuated from Blatten on Monday, May 19th, as a preventative measure. In a press release issued Thursday, the regional government warned the Lonza River is obstructed and a lake is forming. The real challenge lies in managing the flow of this accumulating water. If the river breaches the debris dam, a devastating debris-laden flood could be unleashed.